Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, Miko believes that I'm lying about not having a girlfriend. And then they just left. And yeah, that's it. Huh. What are their intentions? And where am I now? Oh, back in school. How much time has passed now? I don't know. Why are you asking me? The weeks have just been flying by this semester. That's not good. You're not really good with the studies. But right now, time in my class seems to have to pa pass more slowly than ever. Hmm. At least it's lunchtime now, even though it took forever to get there. Really? I don't think it took that long, did it? Don't look at that clock. As I'm about to leave, someone steps in front of me. It's none other than Miko. Something doesn't seem right. Huh? Miko? Is something wrong? Keita. Something is upsetting her. I can tell. Huh. I wonder what's wrong. Could... Could I please come over after school? I think we need to talk about... Trailing off, she averts her eyes from me. Something... We need to talk about something. What is this something you want to talk about? S stupid I'm obviously trying to avoid saying it. J just let me come over after school. She storms out of the room then. While it's not unusual for her to be angry, something doesn't seem right here. Especially the part where she just wants to come over. I wonder what the strength of student did. Who knows? You could never know the truth about Miko. Looks like I'd better visit her after school. Something has to be very wrong if she wants to talk to me alone. Hmm. The day quickly passes by, somehow, and I find myself walking with Miko to her home. Wait, I thought she wanted to come over to my house. I find it odd that Hiromi isn't with us. Are we talking about Hiromi? Is that why? Hmm. Why isn't Hiromi here? She, we, listen, I, I just need to talk to you by myself. Something about this makes me feel really nervous. Whoa, okay. Quietly, we both slip into my apartment. Wait, I thought we were going to her house. I'm confused now. She just stands there, unable to raise her eyes from the ground. What did you want to talk about? I can hear Snipples. Snipples escaping from Miko. Snipples. What happened at the swimming club? Oh. This is what we're talking about. I think you should know. I know that I was so curious about this incident. But now that I'm here, I'm not sure if I want to know. Huh. I have to be gentle. Miko looks like she's about to break. I'm actually really curious, but also... I actually feel really... Worried about her, like truly worried. Like if I was in Kata's shoes right now. It's okay, Miko. What happened at the swimming club? A friend of mine. It's a struggle for her to say anything about it. It was stupid. A stupid accident. But it happened. What happened? We had another friend long before you came. She used to be part of the swimming club. She... She was always so full of energy. She could barely contain herself. But then... She doesn't want to say it. She was hit by a car on the way home. What? Well, what does that have to do with... With... With the swim club? The driver was drunk. Well, that's still pretty sad though. <sighs> Things always happen unexpectedly. 
She suffered a spinal injury. She became paralyzed from the waist down. She can no longer swim like she used to. Wow, waist down? Ah, oh. It's really tough. We spent night after night at the hospital. There wasn't a single mo moment when we weren't there for her. What she wanted more than anything else was to be able to swim like she once did. Aww. Yet, she probably never would again. She tried sneaking into the pool one day and swimming by herself. Oh no, oh no. But she couldn't make it to the end without her legs. She nearly drowned. If we had shown up a few minutes later... Miko trails off. So this is why she hates it when people mention drowning around her. So she didn't drown. What are you saying? She began, she began to hate us. She blamed us for what had happened. What? That doesn't make any sense. Rumors started to spread. She slowly grew to resent the swimming club. Wait, wait, that has nothing to do with the swimming club. We, like, they saved her from drowning and... What? Did she want to drown? Was that her purpose? No. The heck? It's so sad. Oh my goodness. Everyone else began to avoid the swimming club. We slowly lost members until it was just us two left. They said they couldn't stand being anywhere near people as terrible as us. This year was the last straw for us. We had to get a new member or else they would shut us down. Ah, <gasps> and I was that one person to... to save it. Oh. I... I didn't know it was this bad. I didn't... I thought someone drowned. So someone almost drowned. And then, they saved her, and then she resented them for saving her? That's so stupid. If I hadn't come along, what happened to your friend? She moved away from here. She said she couldn't stand the bad memories. The bad memories that the drunk driver caused. Right? Miko looks so sad about it. Why doesn't she remember all the fun we had together? Why did things have to work out this way? She was the only other friend I had other than Hiromi. Well, things happen, Miko. Unexpectedly. But now she's so bitter. I wish I could make things right with her, but she refuses to see either of us. Everyone realized what she had said was false, but even then, there's always that shadow hanging over me. Wait, if everyone realized what she said had been false, why... Why does everyone keep seeing the swimming club as... As, um... That has a bad reputation? That doesn't make any sense. She sits down on my lounge, staring at the floor. I'm scared, Kata. I'm scared that something will happen to you and that you'll hate us too. Aw, it's not gonna happen, Miko. Please, if anything happens, please don't hate us. Don't hate me. Please, don't hate me. She finally looks up to me, her watery eyes pleading with me. I have to be gentle with her. One wrong move, and it looks like she'll fall apart. I couldn't possibly hate you. I... I... I head over to her and embrace her in a strong hug. She starts crying then, great waterworks pouring from her eyes. Her true feelings are laid bare for me to see. This is Miko as she truly is, someone very warm and very vulnerable. She called me today, this morning. Just to tell me how much she hated me. What kind of person does that? So messed up. I... I just couldn't take it. I'm here for you, Miko. Everything's fine, okay? 
Everything's fine. For the longest time, she just stands there. Can... Can I stay here for today? Sure. Stay for as long as you like. Miko stayed the night. I let her sleep in my living room. I hope she's feeling better now. Hey, Miko, are you awake yet? Me. Oh. Oh. Miko looks back indignantly at me. She's wearing blue striped panties today. Are you sure those are panties or a bikini? Because I. Mmm. Maybe she just like, likes wearing bikinis. Just like when. Oh. The blood is rushing to my face, even thinking about it. You. You know this is how I get comfortable. But. But. I thought I was only in your room. With a huff, she turns her back to me. Just, just don't say anything this time, okay? Just this once. This doesn't necessarily feel embarrassing, but even so, is this really okay? There's something very intimate about it. There, there actually is. Very. Because she's like okay with it, with in, being in her panties in front of you, Kata. She asked me not to comment on it. Okay, I'll just pretend there is nothing unusual. So you've learned your lesson from last time. When I get comfortable, don't say anything. Deal. Even so, I can't stop my eyes from wandering. That shirt and the panties. It's... It's... My fetish! What were you gonna say? Oh, yep. That's what he was about to say. No! I can't think of her that way. What are you saying? No, no, nothing. I didn't say that out loud. I take a few deep breaths to calm myself down. All I have to do is pretend nothing is unusual. But she isn't crying now. That's good. She looks a lot better than she did yesterday. It feels like when we're at swimming club together. Miko. What? I'm glad that you're feeling better. I couldn't bear to see you so sad. It, it does not make me happy to hear you say that at all. What? I guess I was being cheesy then. Sorry. But that's right. You can't read the atmosphere at all. You're so dense. So saying things like that to a girl you aren't even dating. What does dating have to do with it? What? I... I didn't say anything. I really don't get her at all. It seems like her, her mind's like wandering around everywhere. Yesterday, she was crying her eyes out. But now, she's rebounded to her usual self. But, I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. When you first showed up at the swimming club, I never thought you'd last. I thought you would have left us like everyone else. How could I? I don't care what rumors say about you. Miko is Miko. Nothing anyone else says will change that. Her face goes so red as I say that. S stop it with the sweet talk. She shifts around nervously then. It it's morning now. I need to get home soon. Oh, you're right. You can stay a bit longer though if you... Th that won't be necessary. She quickly puts her clothes back on and heads for the door. But, I just want to tell you, Keda. Th thank you. For everything. With that, she leaves without another word. Wow. That was a... Interesting story. I mean, I was sad about it at first, and then after... It just didn't... Un I didn't understand what, why the girl resented them for saving her life. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye.